trainer Brent Pelling represented by four finalists in this nine horse field in the Sire Stakes Championship for three year old pacing Colts nearing the start. And they're off. Nobody really charging out of their hearts. So Soho and Silverman from between horses head out for the lead to their inside as Art's tribute is away well. Corey's gold on the inside third and Art's advantage is three deep entering the turn for Ledford. He's moving up into third now. Potomac Affair fifth on the inside. They're really not going much in this opening quarter. Yankee Landa picks up cover on the outside second over. Further back is Rupp Arena who races in seventh. Mystic Art settles eighth and New York Mats trails the field. Art's advantage to the front. The quarter in 28 and one and a breaker there going off stride. Art's tribute. Art's tribute made a break and Potomac Affair was forced very wide there. So several of the trailers scattered and forced to check up another breaker off stride. Art's advantage. Art's advantage has gone off stride. So two parts of the entry have broken stride as they head toward the half. And Yankee Landa is left on a loose lead. He's four lengths in front. Soho looking to close the gap from second. Corey's Gold is racing in third. The half and 55 and one. 27 seconds, second quarter. Up the inside, Rupp Arena is fourth. Potomac Affair, who is forced very wide, finds himself first over in fifth. Mystic Art squeezes out, trying to catch his cover. And New York Mance thinks about driving up to his inside. Corey's Gold is tipped out from third. But on the front end, Yankee Landa looks to sprint clear. And he's opened up to a three-length lead for the Campman as they come to three quarters. Soho is chasing in second. And Corey's Gold on the outside third. Three quarters in 123 and three. And they're at the top of the stretch. And it's all Yankee. Yankee Landa, Yankee Landa pacing powerfully in the lane as four lengths in front. Corey's goal trying to get around Soho for second. Rupp Arena racing in fourth. It's Yankee Landa starting to tire a bit. And Corey's Gold is trying to get to him. Yankee Landa put to a full out drive. Corey's Gold and Rupp Arena coming, but it's Yankee Landa. Yankee Landa has won it. Rupp Arena may have nailed Corey's Gold in the photo for place. 151 and three. Number six, Yankee Landa. And Art's place three-year-old out of Love and Yankee by On the Road again. He's owned by the Perfect World Enterprises from Old Westboro in New York and trained by Brent Pelling. Yankee Landa, only his fifth start of the season. It's his third victory. Career best effort of 151 and three-fifths. And we do have a dead heat for second. Dead heat for second between number two, Corey's Gold and number four, Rupp Arena, two and four finish in a dead heat for second. Fourth was the 1A, Soho. Standing by in the winner's circle to make the Sire Stakes Trophy presentation, we welcome Mr. John Tomasello, the executive director of New Jersey Sire Stakes activities, and also the tax queen, Fran Tomasello, trackside as well, making the presentation to Cat Manzi and Yankee Landa. Results have now been posted official. Number six, Yankee Landa pays twenty dollars and forty cents, sixteen twenty, and the show price for Yankee Landa eighty-one dollars to show. Dead heat for second. Corey's Gold five eighty, and seventeen sixty, and the show price there forty-two dollars and eighty cents. One hundred five dollars and sixty cents. So if you bet the four Rupp Arena to show. That $2 ticket is worth $105.60.